What did C. Strug say? How did he react to it? Like, wow. He like, it messed him up. Yeah, it messed him up. He was like, man, you don't know how much it means for you to call me. I thought, you know, I thought you were just, you know what I'm saying, playing. Playing. Around, you know what I'm saying? You, you hit me right, <laughs> right, right up. You know, big brother was there with the kids. <laughs> they called, they would make, you know, they would make them so happy if you'd be there with his kids to get that to call. To get that call, man. They, they seen that. They seen that. I swear I know they had to see a rich. Paper tag on that Ferrari, two sticks in it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. When you was locked up, uh, uh, you you used to, you knew he was messing with the music. Right. But you didn't know how that stuck. Right. No, I didn't know. He had like, you know, album after album, you know, mixtape after mixtape, but never, you know, them big hitters, you know what I'm saying? And when I seen him with Rick Ross, man, it was just like a whole nother level. <laughs> How did that happen? I heard about it when it was going on. I'm like, how in the hell did Rick? I know he was a big guy, so Rick was a big guy, and I'm like, maybe that's how what made him connect. You know? Now, it was a, uh, it was a model, an Instagram model from uh, Instagram. Okay. And uh, she put up a post trying to be funny, like name this rapper. I you know, had my big brother uh, toting the chopper, and so. It, you know, big guy, they were like, name this rapper, they're trying to be funny. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. Everybody laughing and giggling. So we were like, all right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, and uh, Rick Ross seen it. Yeah, yeah. You know, in the comments, he seen it. He said, oh, yeah. They really go hate this Rick Ross. <laughs> it's his drugs record, record, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, like, I see you grinding, big boy. <laughs> he said, I'm going to come do something with you. Yeah. That's God. God. That's God. favor. Yes. See, favor ain't fair. Yeah. Right. See, favor make. See, it was a lot of niggas that wanted to get a feature mm -hmm. from Rick Ross. Oh yeah. And, and and to be honest with you, for the way God will do it, man, he don't go by our standards and set rules, man. You feel me? All right. Like like it it it'll push you up the line. It don't matter. It, uh, DJ Kelly might have wanted a verse that week. It didn't matter. God said, Nah, we gonna put we gonna put DJ Kelly gonna get his, but we gonna we gonna put C Strugs up there. You see what I'm saying? Sure. Favor ain't fair, man. That's dope, though. That's a dope story. So how did he reach what? out to him? Called him. He just called him. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He like, send me your number. I'm going to call you. About 15 minutes later. And they called. He called. <laughs> what did C. Strug say? How did he react to it? Like, like wow. He like, it messed him up. Yeah, it messed him up. He was like, man, you don't know how much it means for you to call me. I thought, you know, I thought you were just, you know what I'm saying, playing. Playing. Play you know what I'm saying? You, you hit me right, <laughs> right, right up. You know, big brother was there with the kids. <laughs> they called. They would make you know, They would make them so happy if you'd be there with his kids to get that to call. get that call, man. They they seen that. They seen that. I swear I know they had to see a rich nigga. Paper tag on that Ferrari, two sticks in it. Yeah. But you can't you can't make this up. Go ahead. That's why sometimes yeah. you know I always I always say our life is not our own. So many people watch her lives and change because of it. You know what I mean? Some people can look at that instance of how she was making fun of him and somebody else who didn't even comment but saw that and felt, you know, a certain way because of it because they might be in that same situation, being bullied in a certain way, but then see how something good came out of it. And that could have motivated that person as well. So a lot of times, you know, when we live our lives and we might be affected badly by something, yeah. but... People are watching you constantly and watching to see how you react, how you overcome. That's why another reason why we love this platform so much because a lot of people are stuck on YouTube, on their phones all the time, and going through situations. We all are human beings. Everybody goes through something. And when you're going through things, you think you're the only one who's going through it. Nobody else will ever understand what you're going through, no matter what you're going through. But to actually have people come on the platform and say certain things about things that they've been through and how they overcame it, and then that could actually help someone who is listening. You know what I mean? Yeah. I agree 100 percent. Yeah, we was going through something during that time. You know, right before that, uh, rest in peace, my nephew, uh, Tori Struggs, Tito, Tito. You know, uh, C Struggs' son. He had a drowning accident yeah, in sure 2014. I seen, that. I seen that. And so, you know, we was trying to put everything together. You know, and make it past this moment and get somewhere else and then you know god Love just rewarded you know wow and and it's crazy how how it happened so how he was how 14 
How old was his son? Son six. Six. Yeah, six. He was, he was mm -hmm. six. Mm -hmm. This happened in 2014. In 2014, and he he basically uh, that how did that affect C. Stroke? Which is son? We know it was terrible, oh, man. horrific. Yeah, but yeah. it hard. It knocked the fight out of him for a few weeks, months, but after that he came harder than ever. He was like, hey, this is it. I ain't no looking back, you know. Man. And it gave him the motivation he needed to get where he needed to be, be at, you know. Yeah. Would you say that that was the most difficult thing he had to face in his life? Yes. 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 Going yeah. through his own medical condition at that time and then going through that too. Oh, man. It made him a monster in the studio. Yeah, yeah we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.